Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me today for a little bit of a different episode. We're going to do a brief look at what I would say are clearly two of the most successful twins in the history of sports. And I don't mean the Minnesota Twins, I mean two athletes who are actually twins. Um, it's something that doesn't occur very often, obviously. Um, and I think the best example that I'm aware of would be these two gentlemen that we're going to talk about today. And they would be the Sedin twins, Henrik and Daniel Sedin, uh, longtime NHL players for the Vancouver Canucks. And uh, they have recently, it was recently announced that they have been elected to the Hockey Hall of Fame and will be inducted, I believe, later this fall or early winter. Uh, they've been retired for a few years now, of course, and uh, got the call to the hall together. And I just think that is really, really cool. Um, so I have a few cards of theirs that I wanted to look over. Uh, one in particular is just awesome. So definitely stick around uh, to the end of the video to, to take a look at that one. I think it's a sneaky, cool hockey card. Um, so there are two twins here, uh, born and raised in Sweden. Uh, last name Sedin, and their names are Daniel and Henrik, as I mentioned. And uh, Daniel, who we'll look at first here, this is his uh, 2013 Panini Prism Red Prism card. Uh, he was taken second overall by the Vancouver Canucks in the 1999 NHL entry draft in the summer of 99. Uh, right as the millennium was coming to a close, uh, the Canucks GM selected Daniel Sedin with the number two overall pick in that draft. And coming into the draft, the Sedins were, you know, very, very highly touted. And uh, there was some question about, you know, where they were going to go. And uh, Brian Burke, who was the GM for the Canucks, traded up to get the third overall pick as well, so that with the very next pick, he could then draft twin brother Henrik Sedin to join the Canucks at the same time. So that in itself is pretty amazing um, to think that these two guys grew up side by side as twins playing hockey together over in Sweden. They were very successful, uh, co-named player of the year over there at least once, you know, prior to that NHL draft. Um, you know, people I think knew that they were going to be kind of a big deal. Uh, but the fact that you know, the cards fell in such a way where they were able to stay together and join an NHL team being that high in the draft pecking order. It's it's just amazing. So, um, you know, to his credit or detriment, depending on how you feel as a Canucks fan, uh, Brian Burke, the GM at the time, did recognize that he would get more talent out of each of these two if they were playing together. Um, than anyone would get out of them in you know individually on separate teams. They were so familiar with each other's play and uh, and style, and you know you just can't replicate, I guess you know nineteen or twenty years of uh, playing side by side and just getting to know each other uh, at that level. And so the Canucks you know made a big splash, took these guys uh, second and third overall. Um, Daniel, and this is the much nicer looking blue prism here. Um, he was known more as the goal scorer. So both of them were very well-rounded players. Um, they could set up goals or score uh, with relative ease. Um, but if you had to kind of pigeonhole each of them into one particular trait, uh, Daniel was more of the goal scorer. Uh, he finished his career with 150 goals more than Henrik had. So he was a little bit more adept at putting the puck in the back of the net. Possibly why he was taken with the second pick and Henrik fell to third overall, although I'm really not sure about that. I'm just, I'm just speculating in that case. Um, but a very successful goal scorer uh, scored, you know, somewhere in the range of uh, between 350 and 400 goals uh, at the NHL level. Uh, whereas Henrik, and here is his blue prism as well. Love that etching. I say it every time, but man, it just gets me. Uh, Henrik was known as more of a playmaker out of the pair. And he was no slouch. He scored, I think, 240, something like that, 250, somewhere in that range goals in his NHL career. Uh, but he was known as more of a setup man, an assist guy, a premium playmaker. And he finished with 150 more assists than his brother had. Uh, so he was, you know, dubbed the playmaker of the two. So that's just a little bit about their sort of 
individual talents, but of course they thrived playing together and uh, just the familiarity that they had as twins and as longtime line mates was uh, just sort of irreplaceable and just something that you don't see often in uh, modern sports. And I don't know when we'll see a case like that again, quite honestly. Um, I do have one more prism card of each that I want to look at before we, we take a look at the one very cool card that I kind of touted at the outset of the video. Um, these are pretty special. So here is the Daniel and here is the Henrik. And uh, modern collectors of Panini products will recognize these as sort of like cracked ice uh, or in the world of tops, they would be atomic. Um, these are special cards that were made for the Collectors Expo in Toronto uh, back in 2014 uh, or the winter of 2013. So they were very limited and you could only get them at that show. And that's essentially Canada's version of the National, I understand it, although it takes place twice a year. Um, and what's neat about these, aside from the fact that I love Atomic and these are absolutely stunning looking, uh, they are fairly limited. They were serial numbered out of just 30 copies. I'll try to tilt these both just right, but we've got a copy 6 of 30 on the Daniel and 10 of 30 on the Henrik. So those are sort of my, I guess, my prized uh, matching cards that I have of these two individuals. I've never been a heavy collector of the Sedins. Uh, the knock on them during their career is that they were never able to bring a Stanley Cup to the city of Vancouver. I mean, that's a tough challenge. I don't know that they necessarily had great rosters around them at times, they came very close uh, in some circumstances. They did make the cup finals once, um, but just really, really uh, interesting story in sports. And at the end of the day, you know, each of these guys finished with over 1,000 career points uh, in the NHL, and uh, they're getting enshrined together uh, as twin brothers into the Hall of Fame. So that is just really cool and uh, really admire that story. And uh, the last card that I have is uh, just a really neat one. So in 2008, Upper Deck, the flagship hockey set, the card that they did for Henrik stood out to me as one of the cooler base cards uh, of all of the 2000s in the realm of hockey. And I have it here. And the reason why is obvious. It's a uh, horizontal card and seated right next to him on the bench in the background is twin brother Daniel. And I just always thought this was the coolest image and maybe the, the most appropriate Sedin card that you could possibly obtain, uh, getting both of them, you know, looking identical here on the bench on this flagship Upper Deck release and making this one even more special. This is the exclusives parallel. You can see the, uh, the rainbow foil here. Um, these are numbered out of 100. I've talked about these plenty of times. So very, very thrilled to be one of the 100 owners of the exclusives parallel of this Sedin card. Uh, in my opinion, as far as budget, you know, hockey collecting goes, I think this is the ultimate Sedin card to have. Um, I don't have their rookies, may want to pick those up in the future now that they've been enshrined. So for my collecting and my style of collecting, um, this is the best Sedin card that I have in my collection. And I thought a fitting end to this small little tribute to those twin brothers. Um, another thing that's cool about this, this is an eBay one of one because the Sedin twins were born in 1980, and this is copy 80 of 100 for the exclusive set. So that is a birth year eBay one of one exclusives card right there. So none of those uh, exist outside my collection on the planet, and uh, thrilled to have that one. I got that for like $4 or something on uh, ComC, but now that they're going in, uh, I just think it's uh, a really neat card. And uh, when they hung up their skates, uh, as I said, both of these guys had over a thousand points. Uh, they finished actually within 30 points of each other, and each of them won a scoring title, and Henrik even won an MVP. So, again, just an amazing tale of twin brothers uh, achieving at the highest level. They never got the cup, but a thousand points each, you know, a scoring title each, and now they're being enshrined uh, permanently together in the Hockey Hall of Fame. So thank you for joining me to check out these uh, Sedin cards. Would love to hear from you in the comments if you have any memories of watching these guys play uh, or any Sedin cards in your collection or maybe a set of sports twins uh, that I overlooked and should have mentioned in this installment. So would love to hear from you. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you for stopping by and I'll be back in the very near future with some more sports card content. Until then, take care.